This is your DNA Info update for Monday, July 26th. It's in the low 80s now, sunny but less humid today with a high of 89. In your headlines, a man fell between the cars on a moving one train this morning but was rescued by fellow passengers who pulled him out of the gap. Witnesses say the man appeared to have fainted. The FDNY says he was not seriously hurt and wasn't taken to the hospital. Residents along 2nd Avenue are getting hit with a double whammy of subway construction. People who live between 96th and 100th Streets will have construction during the day and utility maintenance work at night. Also, a crane will block a lane and a half of traffic as crews reinforce the pavement at 93rd Street. The city will close parts of the financial district to begin construction on a new pedestrian plaza. The right fork of Water Street between Whitehall and Moore Streets will be shut down in the next couple of weeks. The plaza is intended to make the dangerous intersection safer. And a new bridge will arrive at its final destination in northern Manhattan today. The new span for the Willis Avenue Bridge has been traveling by river barge for nearly two weeks and will finish its trip in the Harlem River. It's a replacement for the 109-year-old bridge which connects Harlem to the Bronx. Those are your headlines. Get all your Manhattan local news at dnainfo.com.